Welcome to day 12 of our play along videos with our extra support at the end as well. And I'm going to play today, yesterday's and today so that we get the full four bars for our play along. So here it is at a kind of absolute top speed. So starting at bar 25. One, two, three and four. slower. Try and join in with at least one hand if you can. One and two and three and four and slower still again and then we'll go on to giving our support for this piece okay one and two and three and four and to stick around now I'm going to go through our newest couple of bars that we've learned today or that we are learning today so yesterday we learned this didn't we now if I pause before that last left hand note I'm just going to damp this other sound off if I pause before that last left hand note that now is actually going to come with some more top hand notes. Okay, so it fits together. Okay, so let's do the left hand first though to know where that's going. Um, so we've just played a G, D, G, the octave, the one of those octave with that fifth in the middle. G, D, G, that's right at the end of bar 26, what we learned yesterday. The next one is an F, one of those, but it's not the F just a step away. We're jumping up the octave to F, C, F. So that's middle C in the middle there. The other thing is, and you'll, you'll see this as we do the top hand, is the top F at the beginning of that bar is being used by the other hand. So we can't actually place our thumb yet. So what we want to do is open the hand up as though we're going to place the full proper octave, but don't put your thumb on yet. So you've got the four and the two, but our thumb's not on. And then we play the four, and then you can hop the thumb on. Okay, so let's just practice the move from the beginning of bar 26, which we learnt yesterday, which is a C, one of those, C, G, C. Give that a little squeeze. Then you can move down to the G, D, G. Another, the same shape. So just let your hand open up to it and give that a little squeeze. Then jump up to this F, C, F, but don't put the top F on. Have your thumb hovering over the string, but not actually on. And give that a squeeze just with fingers two and four. Okay, let's try that again, the C, G, C. Give it a little squeeze. 
moving down to the GDG give that a little squeeze everything on jumping all the way up to the black and the red but not your thumb on the top black leave that one off for the moment but keep it nearby so have your hand open to the same shape just not yet on okay this time we'll do it but actually play the notes so beginning of bar 26 CGC and it goes dum 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 and dum da dum and dum okay and we're going to play all nine notes so we're going to go C G C we'll play G D G we'll jump up we'll place the F and the C and as soon as we've played the lowest F we can then put the thumb on so let's play this one and two and three and four and C down to G jump up for the F but don't place your thumb yet now get your thumb on Okay, try that again. C, G, C first of all, octave red. One and two and three and four and G. Up to the black, don't place thumb. Now. Okay, well done. That's really good. Having done that black, F, C, F, then just move down ever so slightly your thumb is going to go to the D one above the red finger three is going to open out to the G one above the black you play G D so from the lowest note up to the top G D then we're going to the same notes an octave lower one above the red and one above the black you can either do these with the same fingers you've just done the the uh, three and the one only this time we're starting with the top down or what's quite nice to do same thing same notes rather is to do it with two and four like it's the bottom couple of notes of one of those the octave pattern and we play two four now there's two reasons that's nice one is that when we then do our repeat it's those exact same notes that we're going to go back on to with those exact same fingers so that's brilliant and the other is just generally it stops you having to reach so far down if you go down with your thumb to there you've got to take your hand that bit further whereas if you just go with two and four you haven't had to move quite so far okay so let's try um, from the FCF so you this is the beginning of bar 27 the last two bars that we've done today You've got the black with four placed, you've got the red with finger two placed, and your thumb is hovering, ready to go onto that black. You play the four, and then you get the thumb on. Then we move to the G and the D, that's one above the colors. And then we go down, and if you can do two and four, but again, one above the colors, just down on your metal strings down there. Okay, let's try playing that, F, C, F, one and two and three and four and G D bit of time and D wait okay so there's time then on those last two notes can we try that again so we get into the feel of that F C F first but thumbs not quite on yet one and two and three and four and nice to sometimes start with our focus on the left hand rather than always focusing on the melody but let's get on to the melody now so it starts with these two quavers at the end of bar 26 these are our new bits for today and we're going to have our thumb on the A our finger two on the G and we're going to go one and then put the thumb back on so we wobble back on A G and then pop your finger two out to the black F off and then jump to the BC okay previously when we did this tune a couple of days ago it was A G A B C all we're adding in now is this black F so we're going to go A G F and A B C should we do that in time together one and two 
and three and A, G, A, B, C. So you want to work on that jump from playing the F and the A to getting your B and the C. You use the colours to help. It's a red string there I'm aiming for with my thumb. Okay, let's try that again. A, G, A, B, C. One and two and three and. Good. Let's put that left hand with it so that you can understand what's happening there. So get your top hand ready on the A, G. Get your left hand ready on the beginning of bar 27. You've got the F in the bass with finger four, the two on the red middle C. Thumb can't be on yet because of what's going to happen. Right hand goes A, G, and it's going to play the F and the A together, and your left hand's going to play finger four with it. Then put the B and the C on in the right hand, let your left thumb go on the black, and then both hands play finger two and play finger one. Okay? If I play that for you. Okay, you want to try that with me? One and two and three and A, G together. Done. We'll try that one more time. So right hand is on A and G and it's going to open up to the A and the F. Left hand's got F, C and the thumb's ready to go on the black F but it can't yet. Okay, and the top hand's going to start your right hand on the A and the G. One and two and three and... Then the top hand's got a B on its own. You might place it from the C you've just played, or you might just do it as a B entirely on its own, but just finger two. Okay. Then we've got some grace notes. Now these are optional. Grace notes usually are optional. Um, so you could ignore them entirely and just go to your fourth beat and play A, G, F, and then open out to our chord G, and either side of the red. Okay, it's the same chord we started yesterday's music with. So you could just play this section. A, G. And that's absolutely fine. It's quite good to get the feel of that beat in your head. So why don't you try playing that with me? Um, we won't do too much of this because if you want to learn the grace notes, we're going to swap a finger. So. A, G, F and A, just the right hand, one and two and three and B, then A, G, F chord. Okay, now if you want to do those grace notes, that's great. Couple of finger choices for you. One is a thumb slide because we've got five notes in a row to do here. We're going from our red C down to the black F. And as you know, we generally only use our four fingers. So um, we could do the slide with our thumb. So we could get two, three, four kind of ready on the black with the four, G just above it with the three, A just above that with the two, thumb on the red and go slide, pluck. And then get our thumb ready on the G so we can open out to the chord. That gives you real stability moving into that last chord. So it would be da 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 de, da. Okay, should we try that? You can try this thumb slide. So thumb slide, you push with your thumb. So instead of plucking it beautifully away from the string, you're pushing it into that next string and then you pluck like normal. So we'll give that a go. Uh, so I will count us in one and two and three and four and for now it's probably the best way to do it. You might even play them even later than that little half beat but certainly it's a good practice for now. So one and two and three slide four and four and chord. Okay let's try that again now you understand what I'm counting. One and two and three slide time one more time like that one and two 
and three. Good, okay. If that slide feels impossible, another option that you could do is to place three in a row, C, B, A. So the C and the B are the grace notes. C, B, then cross over with your thumb to the G as you play the A and open out and put finger two on the F. And then put your thumb back on the G, so you wobble back onto it, and then open out your chord. Okay, so if we try playing that, you could try that. One, two, three, one, two, chord. Okay, so I'll count us in. One, and two, and three. Time. Okay, let's try that again. So you can either do the one, two, three, one, two, like we're practicing now, or you can try your thumb slide again if you want. One, and two, and three. Good, and well done for leaving that time before that final chord. Okay, so let's put all of that right hand together. Either you'll do the thumb slide or you'll place it as one, two, three, crossing over, whichever you feel most comfortable with. So we're going to go from A, G, F and A, B, C, B. Okay, so we'll do that together from the A, G, A wobble. One and two and three and. Good, let's try that again, just that right hand. A, G, A wobble. One and two and three and. Good. Okay, do the same thing again. I'll add the left hand for you. So you play your right hand again. One and two and three and. again see if this time you can join in with that left hand either hands together or just doing the left F C going up to the F G D then jump down D G okay here we go one and two and three and This time I do want you to try it hands together, just see how you get on with it. Right hand's on A, G, A, little wobble. Left hand, black F, finger two on the red, thumb hovering to go on the top F. One and two and three and. Well done, good. Okay, and you'll want to work on really taking your time and pulling that together. Okay, I'm going to play back from bar 25. Could you join in with either left or right, but just to feel the flow going through? So this is the beginning of the... And the left hand on that. G, D, G, D, So join in with one hand or the other, but we're going to do all four bars. One and two and three and four and. This time I want you to do the opposite hand, whichever one you haven't just done, the opposite hand. One and two and three and four and.
and you're doing really really well just remember you can thin out the tune back to what we learnt in day nine